Here I'm going to show you how to make Excel easier to read, and this is not just going to be zooming. However, the first thing I'm going to show you is zooming. So the easiest way to make Excel easier to read is, of course, to zoom. And in pretty much every version of Excel, unless someone has messed with your interface, you're going to have a lovely little zoom bar down here. Click the plus, gets bigger, minus, gets smaller. But what if you want to do that really, really quickly? There are a couple keyboard shortcuts that you can use. You can use Alt, W, Q. It's going to get you here. And then just remember, whichever one of these next shortcuts you want, 0 for 200%, 1 for 100, 7 for 75, 5 for 50, 25, and F for fit selection. So if I now hit on the keyboard any one of those, 0, 1, 7, it'll keep going down the list. Memorize whichever one you want, maybe you want custom, and then have that keyboard shortcut handy so that you can make your life much easier. You want to zoom in real quick, or you want to use the mouse to zoom in, I'll talk about in a moment, and then very quickly go back to 100%. Well, that's easy to do with this keyboard shortcut. So to do that quickly, you would go Alt W Q 1 Enter. So that is Alt W Q. The other shortcut for that, Alt, V, Z. Everything else is the same though. Whichever keys you want for whichever option. You can see the little underline here, and that's the number or letter you should press to select that. All right, the next thing is how to use your mouse. If you have a regular mouse, you can hit Control and use the scroll wheel to zoom in very quickly, very easily. I do miss that with not having a regular mouse. If you have a trackpad, all you have to do is use two fingers, hold them on the pad, and expand. So kind of like when you're on a smartphone, and you go out the same way, you use two fingers apart and bring them together. I don't like it as much as the scroll wheel on the mouse, but it can be done. But now let me show you a way to make the text here bigger by default every time that you want to use Excel. We go to File, then down here to Options, and this may look a little different depending on your version of Excel. So options, go to the general section, and down here, font size. Switch that guy from 11 to whatever you want. Let's go with 22. Leave everything else the same or change the options as you want. Hit OK. It's going to tell you you have to restart Excel for the changes to take effect. OK. Let's close Excel. Don't save, open it back up, new workbook, and look, we have giant cells and a very annoying update notice. Seems like it comes every other day now. New updates to annoy you. So A1, very big cells. It looks like it's zoomed in, but check out the bottom right corner. We are at 100% zoom. It's just really, really big text. So this, if I click it, you can see font size 22 on the Home tab, whereas previously it was that. Now I do have to say, be careful if you get used to this big, beautiful font size, and then you have to use a regular Excel setup that has the smaller font size. It's very, very difficult to go back. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to make your macros easier to read. So if we go to Alt F11 to open up the VBA window, and we go to insert a module. I'm actually already a bit zoomed in here, or I have a larger font setting. But you just build your little macro, okie dokie. And there you have your size, but you want to make it bigger. Then you go to Tools, Options. We have this great window, and you go to Editor Format, and go to Size and Change the Size. I think the default is something like 12 or maybe 11. Make it as big as you need to make it. I'm not going to change the size right now because after my last Excel update, it's making it very difficult for me to go between the sizes or I can get stuck on a smaller one or a bigger one and not move between them. So I'm gonna leave it just how it is. Be careful about that. <laughs> but that's how you can change the font size in the editor window and that's one of the things I do for most of my tutorials. So. That's how you can change the font size for all of Excel, and don't forget the keyboard shortcuts I taught you.